Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna <laughs> wail. Hello everyone, so I'm here today to do my second unboxing, or I guess my unboxing of my second cloth and paper stationery box. This is the May stationery box, um, so let's get into it and see what's inside. I just got this yesterday, so I haven't really gone through it, so we're going to find out together. So first off, we have the um, just the insert that kind of lists what's inside. It's upside down. <laughs> um, so I'll kind of put that off to the side and I'll read off what we have as we go. So this is the CEO sticker set. In here it says uh, three sheets and uh, mark your calendars with the first ever sticker set. So it's kind of cool this is on black paper. Um, I kind of want to see what that's all about. So let's open her up. We all know I love stickers so I'm a little bit excited about this one. Come on now. Man, they really pack this snugly in here. So, there we have it. Looks like my greasy fingers. Um, so there we have it. Looks like it does rub off. I just put some coconut oil on my fingers, so and I feel like that just rubbed off on there, which is unfortunate. You guys can see that. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to stop touching that. I'm just rubbing coconut oil all over it. Um, but anyways, so there are three sheets. This is the least greased up one right now. <laughs> Um, so you guys can kind of get a good look at what that looks like. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. Not too bad. Um, outfit of the, what's O-O-T-O? Out of the office? Out of the office is what I'm going to guess that is. I us we just, we usually just say out of office. So, anyways. Um, there we go. So, nothing too, like, special about them. They just seem like regular stickers to me, apart from the fact that they get greased up, which I don't like. Um, then we have these, which I believe are the geometric memo sets. So, unique unique geometric memo sets are perfect for nothing, for noting, like, man, there's just a lot of spelling errors on here, sorry. Um... Geometric memo sets are perfect for noting last-minute memos in your planner or for your calendar, your wall calendar. There were a lot of typos on that, so sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, so we have these dots, bookmark tabs. They are the memos that is listed there. Again, you guys know I love stickies, so I'm excited. Man, that's a lot. There is a lot in there. Wow. So we're going to take one off just to test the adhesive on it. So it's a very like, <laughs> like there, very hard peel, which unfortunately makes it curl up. Hopefully that curl goes away once you put it down. Uh, not as much as I would like it to. So I'm not a huge fan of the adhesive on there. And I just ripped that, but that's okay. And it comes off way too easily upon resticking. So, not a fan of that. I'm not going to bother opening that one because you guys get the idea. Next, we have what looks like the avant garde, avant garde clutch pencil. Is it clutch or cloth? Don't know if that's another spell and error or not. But, anyways, um, so it says unique design hollow center and 1.3 millimeter lead refills. So, there we have the pencil. So this is the barrel case. Nothing in there. And then here we have the... Uh-oh. Oh, man. There we go. So, there we have the lead refills. Let's take one out. I guess we'll just take out black. So it looks like it's mostly all black with two reds in there. Yeah, so all black. Um, I see a brown. Okay, I see a brown. Let me zoom in so you guys can kind of, hopefully the camera is able to focus in on that. There we go. So the camera is able to focus in. So we've got red. We've got like a pinkish color there. Blue, green, brown, and then a whole bunch of blacks. So I have a black lead refill here. So we're going to throw that into the barrel and kind of see how that works. 
I don't know how to open. Do I just literally like push it in? Mm, nope, that's not how that works. I don't want to break it. I also don't want to break my nails. Oh, I see. So they're like tweezers. Not a fan. <laughs> I like the idea, but that's way too hard to like. Yeah. Hi, yay, yay. Okay, so it's in. So then how do I push it out, like when I need more lead? I feel like that's great in theory, not as great in execution. Cool though. And it pushes back. Like I don't understand what we're supposed to do with this. Okay, so that's like, so that's how I'd have my pencil normally. So let's see if that pushes. Yeah, that totally just pushed it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but, and it's gone. Not a fan. I get the concept, but execution's terrible to me. Sorry. Um, we'll put that away though, but you guys get the idea of that. So now we have this special black pouch. So in here we have our commodity storybook. Behind every bottle is a story. 15 fragrances. Um, a curated collection of the commodity scent family. Ooh, so let's start with that. Okay, so got that open. Um, that smells divine. Like all the way up here, that just hit me. And it smells glorious. So this set contains 15 1.5 milliliter eau de parfums and a Raiden card. Cool. Oh, nice, nice. Wow, that's a lot. So I have 15 here. And there are, so what is it, three chapters? That's pretty cool. So there's three chapters. That kind of details the name and, of each scent and the story. And it also highlights the keynotes in the scent. I am excited. I don't want to bore you guys with reading this, but um, maybe I'll just briefly share the names of them with you. So this up here, I believe, would be our chapter one. Um, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. So here, so I'll zoom in a little bit. Now that you guys really care about this since you can't smell it, but... I'll still do this for those who want to know. This is Oris, a contrast in duality between sparkling freshness and warm. I said I wasn't going to read it, and I'm reading. I was just going to name, name them. So we've got Oris. We've got Votive. You know what, guys? Let's just scrap this. This is not, yeah, it's not useful information. But anyways, 15 cents. That seemed to smell quite divine. If you want a recommendation of one after, you guys can always comment below and I can let you know. But I feel like there's no value to me reading that all out to you. Last but not least, we've got the pocket folders. Really excited about these because I saw it on their um, Instagram page as they were kind of sharing and giving sneak peeks. And I was just like, ooh, I can't wait to get my hands on those. I am not being very gentle with this because I know I'm keeping it, so I don't care to be gentle. Oh, that is lovely. That is really nice. And there's like space for like your business card or whatever. Number one, and now, oh, I love. I really love. Now you guys know the traveler, the traveler's notebook girl in me needs to measure this now and get myself a traveler's notebook that can hold this. And I'll probably get the Traveler's Notebook in black and gold to match. Oh my gosh, I am just so excited. Where's the ruler? Not my ruler. Let's see um, what size this is. So that looks like a six. It's a little bit more than a six. Or oh, it's right on. Nope, it's right on a six. And um, 
eight, it's like 8.4 ish, 8.45 we can call that. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Based on that, I'm sad to say this is not going to fit well into any traveler's notebook. So that's kind of a bit of a bummer. Um, I don't know what it really will fit into, to be honest, now that I don't have anywhere to put it. I am a little bit less excited about it. Um, I gotta think about that one. Think of a way to use this functionally while still keeping it pretty. Because the closest it would fit in would be a 9, a size 9 um, traveler's notebook. Like, that's Foxy Fix size. I'm trying to think of what that's um, called in regular size. I'll just pull that up here, but I feel like, kind of based on that, yeah, well, what would you guys use it for? Where would you guys put it? Like, yeah, I'm so confused. Um, yeah, like a number nine is an extra large moleskin, is kind of like the size equivalent that it would closely fit into that, but that's a 7.5 by 10. Like, that's significantly larger than this. But the next size down, which is a number 8, which is an A5 size, is only 5.8 by 8.25 inches. So you guys see, there's a huge, like, they're right in the middle of those two. So, anyways, that's it for my cloth and paper stationery box unboxing. My favorite is this. Um, my least favorite would be the pencils, because I was really excited about that, but it doesn't seem very functional to me, like... Yeah, um, actually, yeah, this is my second favorite. I love this. I am a perfume girl, so this right here, I am quite happy about. Like, it's coming with me on trips. This is going to be my new um, travel perfume set. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys for my next unboxing. Bye now.